All right, so today we're going to be talking about Object Manager. Now, uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is how I deal with object migration um, using Object Manager. So this is kind of the, the methods that I use. This is how I do it, right? Um, and then I'll, I'll talk about how it works, right? Okay, so what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be promoting a report from this MicroStrategy tutorial project to this MicroStrategy tutorial production project, okay? So we're going to migrate a report from there, from, from tutorial to tutorial production, okay? Uh, the report we're going to be migrating is this sales by day report. Um, again, simple. Um, now, typically what I do in my environments, in my development environments, I will have a folder, usually off of the root, um, that's called, um, you know, like migrations, right? Okay. And then typically what we'll do is we would create folders separated by day, right? The day we migrate. So let's just say 0101-2018, right? And then what I'll do is I'll have my developers, whatever objects they need migrated, they would then create a shortcut. Um, and I would have them move that to that migrations folder, whatever folder it is, right? So this way I know what objects they need migrated, right? So there it is. Okay, so that's just kind of some of the, the methods that I use. But to each his own, don't have to do that. Um, that's just how I do it. Um, okay, uh, now the other thing I do before we, before we get into Object Manager is I'm going to create, just to show you kind of how, how it works, I'm going to create a new folder. Okay, I'm going to call this Sales Reporting, Sales Reports. Okay, and I'm going to... Uh, where is that here? I'm going to move that. I'm going to move this report there just to show you what happens um, when you put something in a new folder. Um, okay, great. So now it's in the, the main folder under reports, sales reports. This is the report we're going to migrate. Let's, so let's fire up Object Manager and let's take a look at how, how this is done. All right, once you fire up Object Manager, going to click open up your environment, connect to your project source, click open, oh, log in of course, and that should bring up your list of projects. Here's MicroStrategy Tutorial, that's going to represent our development environment and tutorial production. That's where we're going to migrate the, the object to. Okay, so what I do here is we'll click in, in our uh, development project here, we'll connect to that, make sure it's bolded. I do tools, Create package. Okay. Now, when I name it, I usually have a folder where I keep all this stuff in. Um, I'm just going to put it on the desktop here, and then I name, give it a meaningful name, right? So it'll be whatever, BI promotion. I don't know, sales report, and then I usually give it a date. 2019 one, 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 actually. Okay. All right. Simple. Now, then what I do is I will click add. This is where we add, and I will browse to where I know my my to where my, my migrations folder, right, that we created. And in there will be my shortcut objects. Okay. That's the shortcut to the report. Then I click this button here, and that will give me the dependent, immediately dependent objects. So then I can drag in the actual report, right? Not just the shortcut. Okay, and I close that. Now, what I'll do is, because this is a new object, you can you can leave it as use existing. I, I'll usually just do set these to replace, but because they don't exist, MicroStrategy is naturally gonna create it if it's not there. Um, but I set them to replace anyway. Okay, then what I do is, I will usually click here to add all dependencies, this button on the right, okay? And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring in usually a lot of objects, right? It's gonna bring in all the dependent objects, okay? Now the reason why I do that is is because a lot of times, although the report is the is the kind of the end result, you know, if now if you just create a new report with existing objects, you don't need to do that, okay? But if there were a lot of objects created um, it, it, to produce that report, like some new metrics, some new attributes, okay, usually I will do add all dependencies, okay? Now, if those um, are new objects, right? So let's say this revenue metric was a new metric created just for this report, right? 
well, then you can leave this as is, use existing, and because that will not exist in the production environment, MicroStrategy will create it. However, if this was an existing object or an existing metric, let's say, like let's say this revenue metric already pre-existed, right? And all we did was modify it, was tweak it, okay? You are going to have to click replace here, okay? Now, sometimes it's easy to forget, right? Especially if there's a long time between when something was developed to when it's actually uh, promoted to production. It, you, you could, it's easy to forget small changes that were made to objects here, but this is where you, you, you have to get kind of get this right. Right? You have to know if an object is new or if it was changed. Now, to be safe, what you could do is you could just say use newer, right? And then if the object was modified, this use newer will naturally grab the newest object, right? From from development, assuming that the newest object that the newest object is from development if you're if you're doing things right, right? So um, yeah. So that's that, right? So now we have all this done. Let's say that all this is correct, right? And and again, the use existing. If this, since a lot of this stuff, you might say, well, I don't need all this stuff, right? I don't need I don't need these uh, these objects. Or all I don't want to migrate all these, right? Well, if it already exists in the production environment, which most of this obviously does, right? Unless it's new or was or was recently changed, MicroStrategy is not going to migrate. It's not going to do anything, right? It's going to say, oh, this is already here. I'm going to keep the existing one in production. The hope is that they should be the same. They should be identical, right? So there's no need to migrate that. Okay, so that's the, the, the thought behind that. Okay, then the next thing I do is, once I have all this ready, I click Proceed. Now this will create that package, that package file. Okay, package created successfully, right? So now those objects are packaged up. And now I come over and I select my production environment, right? And again, I make sure that it's bolded. Make sure that it's bolded, right? Then I come over to Tools, and I, and I select Import Package. Now, that will bring up this window here. This is where you will select the package we just created, this BI Promotion. Now, I always choose Generate, Undo, and then Import Package. Why do I do that? I do that because this will create another file that is an undo file, right? This is in case the promotion goes wrong or there's a problem with the promotion and you need to roll it back. So this, to me, this is a very important step and you should always create an undo package. Okay. You can also click edit here and tweak and tweak this if you need to. Um, but in this case, we'll just click proceed and I click proceed. Now this is naming the undo package, right? I'll usually just name it, leave it at that. The, the, the original package name, underscore undo. That's usually the convention I use. Um, so click save, proceed, click yes. It will then confirm that it has been successful. Click OK. And now from there, promotion is done. We can close the object manager. And now let's verify that the report was indeed migrated to production. So we'll come down to public objects, reports. Now this is what I wanted to point out here. You can see our sales reports folder. That was a new folder. Now I didn't specifically migrate that, right? That wasn't in my my list of migrate objects to migrate. But MicroStrategy automatically created that folder, right? When it when it when it migrated the report, it saw the folder was missing and automatically created it. In case you were wondering, um, will MicroStrategy create the folders, right? How does that work? How does it handle that? That's how it handles that. If the folder's not there, it will create it. And then there's our report. In our, in our production environment, and it has been created. So that's, that's how I do object migrations using Object Manager and MicroStrategy. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.